Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Matec 1G3 SE VTX for iNav. So a new addition to iNav 5.0 was the ability to change the settings on this VTX via IRC Tramp. And a couple of people have had issues with this, so I'm going to go through a setup now. So first of all, let's take a quick look on the Matec website and to show you what VTX you need to be using and what we can expect from this. First of all, this is the VTX. So it's the 1G3 SE, so second edition. And I'd imagine if there's a third edition or whatever, it would still support this. Uh, but the original just plain 1G3 will not work with this. It needs to have the IRC Tramp protocol. So that's the version of this VTX you need to be using. But there's another thing that we need to check out and that is the frequency ranges. You can see here there are two versions. There's an international version which has nine channels and there is a US version that will only work on 1280 megahertz and 1258 megahertz. Now, if we go down a bit further, you can see this is the tables that they tell you to input for beta flight. Obviously, iNav doesn't have VTX tables, but we have got these bands set up. So if you're using the US version, the two frequencies that you can use are on band B. So you need to select band B from the uh, list of bands available. And if you're using the international band, band A will probably be your best bet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight uh, channels already on band A, um, but you can also use the 1258 channel on band B if you wish. So the easy way of setting it up is international use band A, US use band B, but if you did want to use that 1258, you will need to swap to band B to use it. But most people I know of <laughs> just use 1280. The other thing is there are three power levels, the 25 milliwatt, 200 milliwatt and 800 milliwatt and that's the same no matter which band you're on so there are just three power levels on my desk i have actually got a power meter so we can watch the power levels changing uh, but you can see the level is in dbm at the moment it's about minus 24 dbm for 25 milliwatts we're looking for around 14 dbm for 200 milliwatts we're looking for around 23 dbm and for 800 milliwatts we're looking for around 29 dbm so when we're over there i'll put those values on screen so we can just check that out as we're going along so the other thing about setting this up is it's documented in the github so if we go to the inav main github go to docs and vtx.md which i can put a link to in the video description what we need to set it up is in there so there is one CLI setting to make, and then it's all just basically setting up the IRC tramp and selecting your band and channel. Now, there's a note here that the band has to be one or two, and the channel has to be between one and nine. It should actually be between one and eight. If you're outside of that range, it just won't work. So make sure you're within band one and two and between channels one and eight. So I'm gonna just copy this line of text here because I will need to put it into the CLI soon. So let's head into iNav. I've not actually set anything up on this yet. All I've done is put a couple of switches on the transmitter to change things and I've wired it in. I've powered it up just to make sure that I'm getting a signal, but as far as the tramp stuff goes, nothing has been done yet, with the exception of I've set up a little bit of programming. So just to show you this working, of course, it's not gonna do anything on the VTX at the moment. Uh, I've got the first uh, three logic conditions are for changing the power level, which is on this freeway switch here. So you can see it's going from power level one to power level three and that will update this. And then I'm using just the two position switch here at the back to switch between uh, channel six and channel four. Channel six should be 1280 and channel four is whatever channel four is. <laughs> so let's have a look. So one, two, three, four, 1200. So that's what we're gonna be changing between. I've not got anything set up to check the channel value uh, but we'll see the picture either appear or not because the channel is changing. But also the LEDs should indicate it up here as well. Right, so the first thing that we need to do is set our port. Now I've put this into UART5, so what we're going to do is enable IRC Tramp on UART5 and do a save and reboot. 
Next up, we're going to go into CLI and I'm just going to paste that command in. And all this is doing is to say that we're using the 1.3 gigahertz band and click save settings. And the final thing I'm going to do is go to the configuration page and make sure that my band is on band A. Of course, this would be band B if you're using the US version. Channel on six, which actually is set up through the switch anyway, and power level and uh, I don't care about and use low power while disarmed. I don't care about. So I'm just going to save and reboot that because I know that that should work fine. And now let's head to the desk just to see if it's all working. Okay, so as far as the setup goes, this is the 1G3 SE VTX. Got the RX going to the TX of UART5. Just power and ground is the 9 volt and ground and the VTX out going to the VTX out. There's no camera on here, so we'll just have a gray screen with the OSD on it. And it will be a pretty terrible picture because I'm just coming straight out of the VTX into the power meter, which I've set to 1280, which is channel six, which is the channel that the VRX is set to. The only other thing to do now is power it on and have a look. Right, so you can see that we have a load of warnings because I actually did have a, a wipe of the settings before trying this. And what I need to do actually is put the power levels on the OSD. That might be helpful. Right, so there's the power level. I should just do all of it. I'll save that. So on VTX power level one, which if we look down here, we have a one and we're getting about seven dBm out. So it's about half of what we should be getting, but uh, never mind. Right, so let's flip this switch and power level's gone to power level two. We're now getting between 19 and 24 dBm, which is actually spot on and switch it again. We're on power level three and you know, dBm has stayed about the same but we can see the lights on the VTX are changing. Oh, it jumped up to 27. So I'll put that back to low power. We're on 1280. We can see the OSD in the video. So let's change the channel. And you can see that's jumped to a completely different channel. And the video has gone from the, uh, the OSD capture. Switch it back. and the video has come back. And also you can see the power levels are changing on the OSD. So that everything is working as it should. So there you go guys. I hope you found this quick video was helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and the bell icon, and that will help get this video out to more people so they can learn how to set this up too. Thank you very much for watching guys. See you on the next one. Fly your models like you stole them.